Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the latest 4K review from us here at Flick Direct. And for the latest 4K review, I'm here to talk about one of my favorite horror remakes coming to 4K, and that is Zack Snyder's directorial debut, Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead, as I just mentioned, is Zack Snyder's remake of George A. Romero's zombie classic, Dawn of the Dead, and in Dawn of the Dead, we follow an ensemble cast of characters, amongst them are played by Ving Rhames, Sarah Pauly, Tybro, amongst a bunch of others, as essentially this cast of characters wakes up and which this new virus just causes havoc and turns everybody into, well, zombies, and it causes this cast of characters to go to the small to hopefully, well, survive. I absolutely love this film. It's one of my favorite horror remakes. Now, do I think that Zack Snyder's film is better than George A. Romero's film? I do not, as I do think this film does lack in certain areas. Areas. But still, nonetheless, what we have here is a frightening, just, oh my god, just, there are so many words that I can describe my love for this film, and especially knowing that this is Zack Snyder's directorial debut, and it came out as good as it did, and by the way, written incredibly well, incredibly well I should say, by James Gunn. Zack Snyder's Donald Dead is not only a frightening film, it's full of some good humor, great storytelling, good characters, has incredible action sequences. And on that merit alone, in case if you have not seen this film yet, if you have been waiting for this movie to come out in 4K, well what are you waiting for? So we're joining right now and order this film as soon as possible because it is such a bloody good time. For everybody wondering, the film does come in this release with not only the theatrical cut, but also the unrated cut, which by the way, I do think is a much superior cut. I cannot believe that this cut was not released in theaters. Getting into the audio and video quality, starting off with the video quality, Dawn of the Dead on 4K is presented on an aspect ratio of 235.1, and this is a film that honest to God looks better than when I first saw on DVD back in, I think it was in 2005 because I was way too honest to this movie theater. I want to say that for about 95% of the time, this looks terrific in 4K HDR. Now, when it comes to the HDR grade, the colors definitely do balance. There is a specific scene where there is a much more of a green tint to the film. This does take place when the survivors are first getting past the zombies in the mall. That's one particular part of the film with a different color grade to it, but otherwise, the HDR grade definitely does make the colors stand out, but otherwise, but otherwise, guys, when it comes down to the image quality, the clarity, the close-ups look terrific, especially when it comes to the zombie gore and the prosthetics. The zombie gore, oh my god. The zombie gore on this film, guys, looks absolutely terrific. Especially in the parts when you see the zombies all decayed. The zombies look fan-freaking-tastic in the film. The 4K trailer to this film not only does a good job of doing some DNR, but it does to the point where it doesn't look distracting. Going on to the only issue that I have with the video transfer, there are some white shots with the CG where it doesn't look as clean and as clear as it could, but otherwise, guys, in terms of video quality, the 4K and HDR grade look fantastic in Dawn the Dead. Going on to the audio quality, Dawn the Dead is on a DTS HD MA 5.1 track, and I will say one thing before I continue on, I do wish that this was on a Dolby Atmos track because knowing how much of an action-packed horror film this is, I can only imagine how great a Dolby Atmos track would have been with this movie. But none of those we still have here is a banging. 5.1 track that amplifies this movie in so many more ways than I could have expected. Whether it comes to the dialogue, which is crystal clear, Tyler Bates' score, which sounds terrific, the action sequences sound absolutely terrific, especially when you hear those guns go off and the shotgun. The clarity of the shotgun and the bass response it gives off, the explosions sound absolutely terrific. Trust me, guys, when I say this, what I just said only is scratching, just barely scratched on the surface. I only wish it was on a Dolby Atmos track because this would have been a killer Dolby Atmos track. Finally, moving on to the special features, Don the Dead's 4K disc only comes with one feature, which is an audio commentary. While the 4K disc only comes with an audio commentary, the other two Blu-ray discs come 
I mean packed to the brim with featurettes. I mean, holy crap. Just to give you guys a couple of examples of the featurettes, there's an interview with writer James Gunn. There's a great featurette on how they were able to accomplish the headshot score, which looked absolutely amazing. There's a great feature called Andy's Tapes that had to do with a character that doesn't have much dialogue in the film. It's actually a brilliant featurette. There's a great feature on the special effects of the film. And guys, there is so much more. All in all, what we have here is just an absolutely terrific remake that has terrific video quality, awesome audio quality, and loaded with special featurettes, which are all really bangers. So definitely, guys, if you have not seen this film yet somehow, definitely pick this film up and have a great and well, as it says on the on the packaging, just a bloody good fun time. Get ready for a roller coaster, guys. I hope you all enjoyed my 4K review of Dawn the Dead. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget to subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest 4K review goes live. If you guys want to see reviews to 4K reviews, please click on the right there or right there. And now, of course, until our next 4K review goes live, we'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, guys. Hit like, smash subscribe, and get notified for when our reviews, interviews, and news go live.